Happy New Year. Here's to a happy and healthy 2021. So I just got a camera mount. We'll see how that works. I'm not sure if it'll stay in position or not. But um, I am on my way to the gym. I just stopped into Target to buy this camera mount and a few other things. So I'm going for a workout. One of the things I wanted to talk about was the update from 2020 48 30. So the holiday update was 2020 48 26. And then there was shortly after that an update to 2020 48 30. I was reading on some of the Tesla Motor Club Reddit forms, and there's a well known hacker, Green, who tends to look into the different software updates and I guess he's able to pull apart the binaries and, and get some information about what's contained in the update. It didn't seem like there was too much in this newest update other than some bug fixes and I think over time the information that he's able to pull from the different software releases has been locked down a little bit more and more. But one of the things that he did find is that the update seems to change where the car is pulling for the controls in terms of what what code is controlling how it determines pathing when in autopilot. So what Green found was that it actually now is taking, um, the car is actually pointing to NN, which would stand for neural net. So for the pathing, meaning the direction which the car takes during autopilot, how it finds the lane, how it determines where to drive, rather than it being set as a code base that was programmed in C++ by human programmers that, you know, basically says, if this is happening, do this, et cetera, et cetera. It's no longer pointing to that in the 2020 48 30 update. It's now pointing to the neural network. So we can assume that some of the information that's been contained in the full self-driving beta that controls lane selection is now being utilized to drive the vehicle itself. I find this extremely exciting. Um, I'm gonna pop it into autopilot right now. Over the last two or three days since that update, I have been using autopilot quite a bit in Chicago. And the very first time I turned it on when I updated, and this was before I even read about any of that with Green on the Reddit uh, Tesla form, was that I was driving in a lane, there was actually a bus here splitting my lane, and the car, which it never had done before in autopilot, actually rerouted itself around the bus. Um, typically when there would be a car stopped in your lane, in about half of your lane, autopilot would like do the, the full dinging and alerting and it would come up red and it would say take over immediately and the car would just stop right in front of the bus but this did not do that it actually padded itself around the bus and what i've what i've seen since then in the two days that i've been using it is that autopilot does behave in some situations it's definitely worse where it's like not taking over like i would expect it in other situations it does seem to be mirroring to a small degree some of the behavior that we're seeing in the full self-driving beta um especially when it relates to coming out of an area of the road that's very well marked to an area of the road that's not marked at all before the car would have just freaked out and, and maybe it would have been in a direction prior to an intersection where the car is driving this way. It goes into the intersection and then it just freaks out. It doesn't know what to do. Well, now what I've been seeing is, let's see if it moves around. So it didn't move in to avoid that truck. But now what I've been seeing is if we're coming out of an intersection like this, the lane markings aren't, aren't good or there's like a bit of a curve in the intersection, it will find the lines again, and then shift into the appropriate lane. So there's definitely an increase in the behavior as it relates to the pathing, um, to the degree to which I'm not sure, you know, how aggressive it's being and how much of that full self-driving capability it's taken over. Um, but it definitely seems a little bit changed. So I think that's pretty exciting stuff. I wanted to just share with you all um, and then also take a look and see how this uh, suction cup mount for my camera is working um, and just get a better sense for 
being able to provide some content of me actually driving without you know having to hold the phone which is not safe of course even when it's on autopilot i really should both have both hands on the wheel and be chaperoning the car um, as you can see here we're in autopilot still and even the way in which it's determining the lane before it would have associated this entire space as drivable lane and and it, w it just widens the lane but you can see now it's it's tending to give me just this area of the lane and it's reserving this for i guess it's seeing it as another lane which it should because really this section of the road is where a biker would bike or where the dar doors would open for many of the parked cars so i do feel like there is some subtle upgrade there's also, like in the full self-driving beta, there's very likely some controls depending on how I'm driving the car or what car, what situations my car in autopilot is encountering, that it could be pulling in different settings that get kind of automatically tuned up or tuned down by the neural net. So in the last two days of driving around in autopilot, I definitely, definitely, definitely am noticed, I have noticed an increase in confidence in terms of how the car is driving on autopilot. Pretty exciting. I'm really, really hopeful that we're gonna have some huge double fire news as version 11 comes due for a wider release. I'm, fingers crossed, I'm hoping and praying that that actually means we're going to have full self-driving beta with a wide release and it'll be similar to autopilot on city streets beta where you're able to just opt in even if you're not part of the early access program so that is my hope fingers crossed i will obviously keep you all updated and tuned in and to everyone out there who's listening thank you so much please like please subscribe i'm really trying to make something of this youtube channel have a happy and wonderful much better than 2020 new year in 2021 stay safe and take care